Hey YouTube, I'm Kyle the Four on Modder, and we're gonna be talking about do I have enough filament? Specifically my instance. So I ordered some more of this Matter Hackers uh, ABS build series filament in the lime and it got lost. So Pennsylvania, Salt Lake City, and then to New Jersey. Like I'm on the West Coast. What's going on here? Anyway, let's dive into this. So what I noticed was with the old PETG um, Polylite brand uh, filaments that I get, they're in cardboard rolls. And so I, I have measured enough of them empty to know they're the same weight. Now with this plastic stuff, it's a little different. So whoever Matter Hackers gets your stuff from, you guys might want to, you know, figure out what's going on with your spools because empty spool A is 210 grams and empty spool B is 240 grams. That's 30 grams difference. So what I had to actually do to determine how much filament I actually have was unroll it and I'm sitting in at a cool 10 grams. Let's go look at our slicer with our printed forward settings and see exactly how much filament it says it's going to take to do the job. Okay, so what we're looking at here is the CAD drawing of Ramalama's part. It's the center tensioner and I added these cuts here because I wanted to have some ease of life with printing no overhangs, no bridging, just hopefully better prints, which we did get and we were successful, which is good. Now, the main reason for modifying the file was not that. If you look here, there used to be these round pieces there that I didn't like because I wanted a pick or something to get in there to help align all the pieces. And so that was taken out. The other major component that was really troublesome for me was the actual spacing between this point and this point. Ramalama's stock configuration is 10.5 millimeters and I needed it to be 10 flat. So I brought those in 0.25 on each side to shrink that up a bit. I did save the file and export this specific configuration as an STL and imported it into Super Slicer, which we're gonna take a look at here next. All right, so let's take a look at my settings. So my infill is at 40% and my perimeters are at four. So I'm gonna go ahead and slice this and see here in the bottom right, it's 6.06 .06 grams of filament. We weighed it earlier and the spare that we had was 10. So we're gonna roll into a uh, time-lapse and see what happens. All right, as you can see, the parts did finish correctly um, to completion. They are 100% printed as I drop parts all over. I am getting too much bed squish, so we'll have to address that later. Anyway, let's see how much filament is actually left. Well, this is how much is left from that. And I'm actually excited that I was able to print those parts because I thought they used a heck of a lot more filament. So let's weigh it in and he weighs in at five grams. So this scale isn't exactly accurate. There's no decimal places to be had here at all. So the slicer saying 6.06 .06 grams. I had 10 plus or minus. So you know, ran down to six plus five is 11. So, you know, maybe this is, you know, under five, it's closer to four something. Um, seems pretty accurate to me. We'll have to get a better scale in the future and do an actual video on weighing the actual weights of the filament and if we run out or not. So we'll have to compare that with Super Slicer because that's what I use. So I hope you enjoyed the video. If you'd like more content like this, please hit that subscribe and like button. And if you have questions for me, please post them in the comments. Psst, hey, insider information. Thanks for watching the video. We have a couple upcoming series here. Um, they're gonna be overlapping each other because we're gonna be using the 2.4 to build parts for this guy. And this guy will be a part in the background and there'll be a series on him. So if this is a Ender wire and it's going to be completely overhauled and turned into a legit Voron switch wire to get serialized and used aggressively. Now my daughter chose the colors and we're calling this Project Cotton Candy. There is a screenshot of the rendering I did in Rhinoceros of what it's gonna look like. I'm very excited for the funkiness colors of the build. I think it's gonna be great. Now, the 2.4, this series is gonna be called the Quest for Speed. We're gonna be going over all the modifications I've done thus far and where we're going for the future, 
reasons why I think one thing is better than the other, this or that. But ultimately, it's up to you guys to install these parts and tell me what you guys think in the comments. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please hit that subscribe button and that like button as well. Definitely supports the channel. And without further ado, I gotta get recording.